Welcome, everybody. Welcome to our American Wind Energy Association Telephone Town Hall meeting. We're having uh, Peter. He should be ready to join us in just a second. Again, if you do have a question, don't hesitate to hit zero. Hit zero on the keypad on your phone. Go ahead and start, Peter. Thank you, and thanks for joining us today. We're here with Denise Bodie, OEA CEO, and the OEA staff taking your questions on our efforts to extend the production tax credit for wind energy. And please note, there are many of you on the call today, and we may not be able to answer all your questions. If we don't get to you today, please email your questions to townhallmeeting at oea.org. Thanks so much. Let me talk about the PTC campaign. We know that your businesses are already feeling the effects of policy uncertainties with the looming expiration of the PTC. But we want you to know we have planned for this effort being a series of battles. Our efforts have built a foundation of new Republican support and we have tremendous momentum. Working together, we will win this war. While Congress decided not to act on extenders or any energy policy provisions as part of this first vehicle, the payroll tax deal, wind power remains very well positioned to get this done in the next possible legislative vehicle. In a divided Washington, wind power is one of the few issues that enjoys bipartisan support. A bipartisan group of members of Congress are continuing to provide leadership in extending the WIND PTC because they realize the urgency of keeping the tens of thousands of U.S. manufacturing and other wind energy jobs that are on the line. We have made progress in executing our strategy to pass the PTC, but the most critical part is and has been your voice. We have tremendous momentum, and now is not the time to let up. Please continue to contact your members of Congress. Tell your representatives about your business and the importance of the PTC to your bottom line. Tell them how an extension of the renewable PTC will save thousands of jobs while paving the way for new project development. You can visit your members of Congress at their district office next week when they're going to be out for the recess. Invite them to your facilities or projects and show them the power of American wind. And thank you. That was Denise Bodie, OEA CEO, and she's about to take your questions along with members of the OEA staff here. All right, and uh, we've got a question from George in Maine talking about who to thank. Hi there. Uh, Denise, you mentioned a moment ago about uh, thanking the members of Congress that have already stepped up to the plate to help. Do you think it's possible for OEA to provide us with um, sort of a roster of those who we should be thanking? I'm not sure exactly uh what the roster is of those that have already stepped up to the plate? The answer is yes, and I'm going to uh, allow Chris to uh, respond to it in greater detail because uh, they've actually been working on a, an easy way for you to get back to your member and say thank you. Yes, and this is Chris. The, first off, any anytime you have a question about where a member of Congress is, don't hesitate to reach out to the legislative team here. But on this specifically, we are in the process of, and I, I don't have a definitive time that's going to be up and active, but of changing the websites that when you go to our website in the grassroots section to, uh, you'll basically be automatically, if it's your member of Congress who sponsors the bill or done something, there will be a draft thank you note there for, for your use, and you'll be able to very easily send that to those members of Congress. Um, and then we'll add to that list as well, so we'll expand that list out for you. Will that also be on the Save USA Wind Jobs website yes. or the uh, WIA? Yes. It and and you might be. share the, wind, the, the, the email addresses for the, the key wind sites that uh, we have up that will help you. Do you the, know those? The main campaign website that uh, you can always get updates from is SaveUSAWindJobs.com. Again, it's SaveUSAWindJobs.com. And the WIA.org continues to house a lot of information about the industry, of course, uh, powerofwinds.com is where we've gotten over 160,000 people to join the what we call the Wind Nation, people who are willing to email their members of Congress. But the uh, the site for this campaign is saveusawindjobs.com. And we'll be naming members of Congress who deserve to be considered USA Wind Jobs champions. And a reminder, uh, you can email questions to townhallmeeting at awea.org, and we'll follow up afterwards with any we don't get to. You've been listening to the Teletown Hall meeting from AWEA uh, with Denise Bodie, CEO, uh, Rob Gramlich, who is uh, Senior VP for Public Policy, and Chris Twastic, who's Vice President for Federal Legislative Affairs. Thanks for joining us, and I appreciate your time. This is Peter Kelly from AWEA in Washington, D.C. Good night.